Scampers, Skater again. Um, I was just on the Demonstrates webpage and a lady called oh, Louise Harry um, posted a picture of an adorable, adorable little 3D project and I asked her if I could case it and do a little video and she said yes. Um, so this is her design. Um, she had a different label on the front, I got a little bit different and I've added a few extras. But I thought this was the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life. So you could make a little pop-up box for it. So when they take the lid off, the sides fold down. I might do that, actually, uh, at some point. But they would make great table uh, favours for stag do's, hen do's, kids' parties, weddings even. Um, I'm going to show you how it's done. And we're using the bubble over, it's called. And I'm using this large bottle. Um... I think Louise said, she, yeah, Louise said she cut the small ones, uh, but I've gone for the slightly bigger. Uh, but just look how cute this is. It's a beer bottle. And I've put the accents, the poxy clearing thingy, so it looks like it's fizzing over a little bit and coming down the side of the bottle. On a, on a coaster, on a beer mat. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? Um, it does sit on the top, that little shape but we have got a bottle caps but they're way too big so I did try and manipulate that but oh my word I've got bubble stains and uh, I use the timeless textures it's got like a stain on there for bottom of the beer bottles and some little stickers oh my word is that just not the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life look at it I put your kindness is most refreshing um Louise used have a birthday brew because uh, she made a card as well. But look how sweet that is. Isn't that cute? Look at the bubbles. Okay, can you see that? I'm hoping you can. But it's that sitting on a little table when you're just about... I think that is the cutest. She, I think Louise is going to make one in a pop version with the straws hanging out as well. Oh, I just, I just had to make it. It's so adorable. And how cute. Isn't that lovely? So let me show you how we made it. I have gone ahead and cut the pieces out because you certainly don't want to see me cut out 11 bottles. And this is half of an A4 piece of card. And this is, I use the chocolate chip. And you can get 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Out of half a piece of cardstock. So I just thought to show you that. Just to prove that I got out of one sheet of paper. So, yay! And I've got a few extras, actually, because I had some more earlier. When I was, I had a few left over, I got carried away cutting them out. Uh, so I've got five extra. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these to make a 3D pot bottle or a beer bottle on a card as well. So that would be amazing. So yeah, you can get up half a piece of cardstock, but you're going to use extra if you need it for the card as well. So you are going to have to cut out with your die 11 bottles. And these are all one inch apart. Exactly one inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I've got an extra one. So, I've got extras. Ooh, lovely. So, I'm going to fetch you my Simply Score because it's the quickest way for me. And I'll, I've turned them over, so this is the best side. So, I'm going to score this side. So, when uh, when we fold them over... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to turn them back, actually, because we want to score the good side. So, just push it right up to the one-inch mark. Taking the smallest nib and just score every single one of them at half inch. I'm going to be a bit bored now because I'm going to be doing this to 11 of them. <laughs> but yeah, they're so symmetrical as well and they fold together lovely. Um, but oh, what a cute little project. Can you imagine that? Um, on a wedding table with for the groom's friends or the groom's uh, best man, all the male guests, and then do like um, a very vanilla bottle, 
um, and the pink labels, and the pink label for the ladies as a Prosecco bottle, as wedding flavours. Wouldn't that be just the coolest? Um, you could have this uh, baby shower and turn it into a baby bottle. <laughs> You'd have to find something for a nipple <laughs> on the teeth of the bottle, and then. Uh, but yeah, how cute! But are they just adorable? Uh, you can even make 3D cards with these shapes. I'm going to show you what I mean. The only thing is, you've got to be really careful while you glue in. You've got to make sure all the bottoms are level. Otherwise, like mine, the first one, it didn't quite sit right when I first popped it down. Get up there in the corner. A uh, little bit fiddly this bit, but it's well worth it. Trust me, this project is absolutely adorable. I was just in awe when I saw it. So thank you, Louise, for sharing your project. Absolutely adorable, my darling. And thank you for letting me case it to show my gorgeous subbies. Another 3D. They love 3D projects, see? There we go. They're all scored. But I'm going to carry on and score these six as well. And uh, I'll show you what I mean when I'm going to do my 3D card. I'm not doing the card in full. Well, I might. I might. See how much time we've got left. I'm just going to show you the idea. So, I need a few more to go. But, uh, yeah, what an adorable little project. Nearly done. Last two. So there's for my bottle and beer mat, and these are going to be for the card, so I'm going to pop them to there. Now just, it's so simple, absolutely, now just fold them, they are very symmetrical, look, you can see the couple close together, lovely, just use your bone folder. You're gonna watch me do all these. <laughs> I could pause and but everyone loves me to wrap it on. Oh my gosh. It's New Year's Eve tomorrow. These would make great New Year's Eve little table favours as well. But when your guests arrive, you're having a New Year's Eve party. How cute though. Just can't get over look at it. It's just so adorable. I love it. So they don't, don't take long to do, and actually the gluing together doesn't really take that long either, so I'm hoping you really get a kick out of these little bottles, because I did, as soon as I saw them I thought they were so adorable, and what a fabulous way to make a 3D project. We all do boxes and little um, boxes <laughs> and little, you know, so this is something totally different. So they're there, and I'm just going to do these last few because once I've done six of those in my bottle, I'll show you what you can do with these last six to do a 3D card as well. You might have to make a little compensation on the envelope or even make a little box for the card. But it'd be so worth it. I hope I've done it justice, Louise, for you. Because yours is absolutely stunning. It's just so cute. Love it. And there we go. So we've done all those now. Yay! Right, now we can get to gluing. These are amazing. You're going to put glue on each side, one at a time, 
and like I say, leveling them off. Tombow is the best for this. I'm going to line these up perfectly. Please make sure they are bang on on the bottom. Making sure they are perfectly put together. And that's how quick it is with the Tombow as well. It's marvellous. So, I repeat the process until you've got them all glued together just like this. Making sure they are bang on. Oh, I did so, it's just so cute. You don't need a lot of Tombow, just enough for it to grip. Making sure there's... Please, this is the most important, making sure the bottoms are all the same. Perfect. And you can always check by adjusting top and bottom. This is why it's best to use the glue, because you get the best wiggle space ever with this. But how cute. Oh, they're stuck together. My husband's in there watching football. And yes, this is an afternoon crafting session for me. I love uh, to watch the swans play, but I wanted to get this little project out of the way because it's just so adorable. And I think this is way more nicer than football. <laughs> Yay. We used to go to all the games, but my husband's still a season ticket holder. But, oh, I can't go. I can't do all that. Oh, I just can't. So, they're away today, so he's watching on the TV. Oh. So, yeah, keep checking the bottoms, making sure they're lovely and flat. And that is turning out beautiful. Not long now. Oops. How many have I got there? Let me just put last one last on. And then I'll show you what I mean about the 3D card. Just making sure. So this is the effect you're going to get, obviously, of your bottle. But you could lay that now on a card with a label over the top and a little bottle top. Isn't that cute? I've even got one of them cut out ready for later. So, just making sure they're so tiny. I can't wait these tweezers out. <laughs> well, I can, but I think I can. <laughs> oh, I'm sticking to everything. Yay, that's it. So, we'll just carry on now and glue in the rest of our bottle. What a fabulous idea, though. Thank you. Keep your bottoms and your tops perfect. Definitely you want to keep these bottom ones bang on to perfection. Very therapeutic as well. This is, I love my... Uh, if I didn't have this, I think I'd crack up. Sitting here, think of all the pain that... I enjoy some most days and a lot of you too have said it's your therapy and it's you so right. You know, fibromyalgia and severe back pain are no laughing matters whatsoever. I know we talk about it but it stops me thinking once uh once I shut up about it that is and start crafting. So yeah. Last two. Oh my gosh, you can make it just so cute. Making sure my bottoms are all perfect. And for the little beer mat, it's just a white piece of whisper white cardstock. Thick. I use the thick. And uh, we're just going to use the corner rounder to round off the corners and add some stains and you know you could add 
you could, you could even go out your way and get some designs of actual beer mats. But this is just so much fun. Look at them, all perfectly lined up and straight. Tops are all fabulous. Just want to make sure it's super flat. Perfect, look at that. Lovely. So, ta-da! Now we're just going to turn this around and glue our bottle. Isn't that cute? How stinking gorgeous. Love it. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra just because this is the last flap. And now we're going to pinch the ends together. A bit fiddly getting into the top, but make sure your bottoms are level and your sides. You could use a little paper clip, you can use your reverse tweezers. How cute! I found, I found a decent use for them. <laughs> I'm hopeless, absolutely hopeless. Just keep moving that up now. Tombow, brilliant, absolutely awesome for the projects like this. Absolutely awesome. Whoops. No, that's perfect. And there we are. There's our gorgeous little bottle. I'll just spread it out now. Not too wide. Uh, and it just stands up. Oh, I just, because these go out and these go in once you add tumble to your little placemat now that will stay up and I use the same Bermuda Bay for the, this this is um, three quarters of an inch by four and again so simple you're gonna grab your bone folder and you're just gonna manipulate your card until it makes a circle don't forget to do the other end And then this is going to get wrapped around the bottle. I've overlapped it by a good half inch. So I can glue this end now. those together making sure they again come together perfectly hold it down just for a little bit perfect isn't that cute oh it's just so cute don't worry about these we can manipulate these oh in a moment once i know that's dry Just hold that together. Um, I have, like I say, I've cut out two labels. We're going to now decide what we're going to stamp on them for the label. And we're going to, I put mine over this joint. So you can't see that joint. Isn't that cute? And then you've got to continue. If you've got big gaps, I just literally pull them together until you've got them all evenly spaced out. Because you don't want big pieces of that bottle fat and then others small. Nice and even you want them. If you see any big gaps, close them up. If you see any little ones, open them out. That just the cutest little thing you've ever seen. You stand up. <laughs> it will, trust me. Right, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the your kindness is most refreshing in the Bermuda Bay. Fingers crossed I can line this up. I've got a couple, so I've got a spare. Oh my see my even my bottle's drunk. <laughs> 
just the cutest. I'll pop that out of the way so I don't. Uh... Perfect. Cut two, just as a spare, but oh, that's lovely, absolutely lovely. So, we'll give that a chance to dry, and now we're going to fetch in our gorgeous little beer mat. How cute is this? So, I, you can use your envelope punch board, but I've got my, still got my retired corner punch, and I'm never going to get rid of this. I love it so much. And like I say, I'm using a little bit of thick whisper white card for this. Uh, because I want it to be substantial for when I'm uh, lifting it up. I know Whisper White can tend to be a little bit thin, but this is the thick stuff. So I can just stain this up now. I've uh, got, I'm just going to put the lid on there. I've got, like I'm saying, I'm going to fetch some scrap in actually. Get rid of And here's that, it's like this, the swirlies. I'll show you one now. I've got to uh, ink up my, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this until it's quite pale actually. And I'm just going to keep adding until uh, that's it. It's perfect. That's all I'm going to do. I'll fetch this beautiful star in again. I just had to ink up my uh, early express on it, so a little bit dark, but I don't mind a little bit dark. But the little star is just the cutest. And then I use the bubbles from the same set. Stamp off, stamp off, and just add some little bubbles. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. There we go. That's all there is to that. We'll close this back up. And now with our little label, again, take your bone folder and just give it some curving. So when we pop this on this little bottle, it will glue into, <laughs> as she said, it will glue into place and I've got to try and keep it straight. Isn't that lovely? So I'll get my Tombow out again and I'm just going to add it to the middle section. Okay, off the end. Ugh. Sticky it is. And I'm just going to pop this right on there, covering that join on my paper. This is just so cute, I can't get over how cute this is. And thank you uh, Louise, absolutely adorable for you to let me uh, case this my darling. My subbies will love it. Uh, I, well I hope they do, <laughs> I do. So I'm just going to add some tumbo, good blob, and pop that and hold that into place. It doesn't take long. Isn't that just the cutest? Boom. Lovely. And then we can add some of these beautiful, beautiful, they're called glitter and clear epoxy shapes. One of them is clear and one of them has little tiny bits of glitter in it and I use the glitter ones. So I just took my poke tool and I use 
the largest one at the very top. Don't go down the hole. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to put another one just coming towards the edge as if it's just about to spill over the side. And then, like, you've got some teardrop shapes. It's just so cute. And they look like bubbles that are running down the side of something. So I'm just going to lift this up and pop a couple. And I can get it to come off my poke too. It's stuck. I have to. So I'm just going to manipulate that round because it's stuck. There we go. Oops. I did it perfect earlier. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's just blew off. <laughs> oh, bless. There we go. Let's see if I can get it from there. I'm getting everywhere except for where I want it. Now it's stuck to my finger. They so they're tiny. I mean, tiny. That's better. See it? I got it so it's running down the side at the bottom. I'm going to do one more if I can. Gently. And that's on the wrong side of the bottle. And it's fell off again. <laughs> it just adds to the detail. I thought they were just so cute. And it just, <laughs> his bottoms just fell off. Don't worry about that. I'll stick it back on. I just want that little droplet in the right place. Please cooperate, Mr. Droplet. And it's the wrong way around. I'm about to bread and upside down. Oh my gosh. We do persevere with these things. I want it straight. Right, there you are. Come on. Sit straight. I'm asking nicely. <laughs> it's gone again. This is going in the boo boo pile. Because <laughs> I make lots of boo boobs. Right. Let's cross this time. It keeps spinning round the wrong way. Yay! Finally we got there. So I'm going to add a little bit more pressure onto my Tombow. Until that is absolutely well and truly stuck down. But what an adorable, absolutely adorable little project. Day. <laughs> so I'm going to pop them away while I, uh, before it drives me insane. <laughs> I'm only joking. Now I did cut out one of these little silvers to imitate a bottle cap. So I'm just going to grab a little dimensional. Pop that on the back. And I'm just going to sit it on the back here. So it looks like a little bottle cap. That will take a little bit longer to dry, but it will dry. Uh, do trust me on that one. Oops, there we go. So I'm going to keep that to there, to one side. It's my other one, look. See, I did them. They're just so effective and so stinking cute. So, right, let's see how much time I've got left. Ooh, is it? 
I can't see. Where's my other glasses? <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. Oh no. I've got 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can pop a little card up. This is half of an A4 sheet of um, Bermuda Bay. I'm just going to fold this in half. Let's have a look quickly. I'm going to glue these bottles together very quickly. Let's my tumble back out. I want to try and incorporate this on the card as well, so. Let's see what I can do in 10 minutes before my filming stops. Because I only get uh, 40 minutes. And I'm sorry, Louise, if you think this is long-winded, but most of my videos are. I do apologise. But it's well worth it. It's a giggle along the way. You can always fast-forward the bits where I'm uh, gluing and scoring and just gets to the main bits. Yes, uh, Louise is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator as well in the UK. Uh, I have no idea whose team she's in, bless. I would like uh, I would like to send her a big thank you though for letting me share this project with you all. I just think it's the cutest. More. Cute. And then, like I say, we can open this up on our card. And we're going to get some designer series paper, which I have pulled out already. Love this stuff. Let's see what we can get. How about that? A band of bubbles bobbing across. It's beautiful beer bottle. And our sentiment. We've got a card in minutes. Who knew? <laughs> I'm just going to glue all this. I'm leaving about half an inch because these are... I've cut mine down six by six. So I've got some for hand for cards and I leave half a sheet. I leave, there's two disc sheets in each pack and I cut one down by six by six. Let me just make sure it's lined up and it's on that line. Oops. And that line now come down wiggle space perfect cut the excess up with my large scissors see that's the only bit of waste and we can find something to do with it always um, Let's see what else we've got. What's on the back of the honeycomb? Ooh, I like that. So I'm going to do a little strip at either end as well. Because that's just like bubbles. I love those bubbles. So I'm just going to do half inch, two of those. what it looks like because they're not going to go to waste even if I do not decide to put them on. Uh, oh, I don't know what to reckon. In the middle. Hmm. 
cut out the other side, can we? Oh, close. I think close. I think that's really cute. I'm going to get my past views for this. Yeah, I think really close. them off at the end. Oh, look at that, it's really strong. <laughs> I'll pop these right close. Oops. And then trim off the excess. I'm going to be really quick with this one. <laughs> so, glue again. Put my fast fuse. I'm just going to glue my bottle on. Put my little 3D bottle on there. I would need then a little strip of paper. Let's get some of this. A little strip of that. Ooh, three in, uh, two and a half inches. By three quarters. I don't think I felt that. That was too big. So let's try one and three quarters. Trial and error. We'll get there. We can clear that over our little bottle now. Not cute. Perfect. It's mad what you can do under pressure. <laughs> Leisure. Yes, one and three quarters was perfect. To glue that little label on around there. And I'm going to grab my little stamp set. And I'm going to have, I'm going to have this sentiment here. Get my Bermuda Bay again. I, can, I know I can see it coming off, don't worry. I will hold that down a little bit longer. Right, get to the edge. Label up. Imagine what you can do in 10 minutes, one handed. Perfect. <laughs> Scrap. Perfect. Manipulate our label again. Glue. I don't like rushing, but I want to show you how I was going to make a card as well. We can squeeze our little bottle top on. I manipulated this earlier and added glue, so may need a little bit more. 
I will add that later. But look how cute this is. So with my long scissors, I'm just gonna better straighten that up there now. Grab my little scissors. I hope I don't uh, get caught short now. Slag the end. Oh, how much time I forgot. Grab some dimensionals. I think I would love a sh thumbs up, a share and a subscribe if you don't mind. <laughs> I have uh, probably nearly enough run out of time. But I just wanted to show you quick what else you could do with those shapes. Anything's possible. Anything. I'm going to pop that there. Clear this rubbish up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, we got there, I think. So there's my little birthday card. I will put the cap on straight. There's those adorable little beer bottles on uh, Beer Max. Oh, I hope you enjoy. Anyway, love you all loads. Take care. Till next time. Bye.